A lot of us who work here at the university and a lot of administrators can look out our windows and can see the place where Matthew Shepard died, where he was slaughtered. The night I did it, I did have hatred for homosexuals. Dragging him over to the fence, tying him, and they beat him viciously. I wanted it to stop. I wanted to hide, make it go away. Yeah, so we got him in the truck, and we were driving, and I had the gun back behind the seat. So I reached back, grabbed it, and stuck it in his face. You know, like rob time. I even poked him in the eye with it. You gotta be aggressive with people when you're robbing them, so they'll believe you'll follow through. I've heard some people say that it's time to move on, and I've asked them, where exactly do you want to move on to, you know? I just hope the community remembers truly how ugly hate is. You know, my mom was killed in Laramie. She was raped. And then the guy just left her on the side of the road. She tried to make it back to town, but she froze to death. Writing about that really helped me. It made me understand the pain I had caused to Matt and the Matt's parents and to Matt's family. Matthew Shepard needed killing. I don't want to be your dirty little secret anymore. If we love each other, let's live together. And die together. I was no longer virgin. Good is coming out of evil. People have said enough is enough. In life the man was so small but his legacy is huge.